Hallo folkens, da er jeg fremme på Niffen i hjemmebanen til Norsan. Nå skal jeg treffe en tidligere Manchester United-spiller, Mambri Amdiouf, for en kort samtale hvor han hadde det i Manchester United, og selvfølgelig hvor han var å score for et fullsatt Old Trafford. Husk å trykke på den røde abonner-knappen, trykk på bjellet så får dere varsel når neste episode kommer. Thank you, Mama, for taking the time for a short interview before no, you go on training. No problem, no worries. Uh, you played for uh, Molde mm -hmm. when United wanted to sign you. What uh, went through your mind when a big club like Man United wanted to sign you? First of all, being a young kid playing in a league in Norway is something else. And you hear some interesting things coming up on your way, like United. Yeah. That's a, that's a dream for every football player, you know. To hear that news, even if it's a rumor, it's great. Yeah. But actually, happened was the best thing ever happened to me. In like, football. Yeah, like a childhood dream yeah. coming true. Yeah. What was it like when you know the transfer was okay? Yeah. You were moving from Molde to Manchester United. How was that like? Oh, <laughs> that was the crazy one because uh, even till that I couldn't believe it. You know, yeah. because uh, it was everything went quick and was too much uh, noise about it, yeah. about media and stuff, so I couldn't believe it until I get to the dressing room and realize, oh, it actually yeah. happened. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was it was great. It's a big move. Oh, yeah. The, From the, Norway to the Premier League, it's a big move. Yeah, that's yeah. a great move. Um, you played your first game for Man United away mm -hmm. against Birmingham. Mm -hmm. You came on as a sub. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about... How was it to get your first minutes for oh, Man United as well? To be honest, it was like, uh, nah, it's not going to happen. I, yeah. you know, in my head, I was just trying to play it in my head like, oh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So, yeah. you know, like it's them type of thing that you just follow by the what's happening at that moment. And uh, when I heard my name was coming in, I was just like, okay, this is it. You know, yeah. it's really happening and I just have to go and enjoy it. Do your best, yeah? Yeah, do my best. The game ended 1-1, I think. Yeah, Darren draw. Fletcher was sent yeah, off. Yeah. And just just a few days left uh, later, sorry, you played against Burnley at Old yeah. Trafford. <laughs> you got subbed in for Wade Rooney. Yeah. You played up front with Barbato. Yeah. And you scored a 3-0 goal. Yeah. Can you tell us about scoring at Old Trafford and for Man United? To be honest, it was a dream come true because... Uh, Playing in Norway, you get to watch the Premier League every weekend. Yeah. So you're always watching them guys, and you know, and in that moment, just to be part of that pitch, you yeah, know, was the best thing ever happened to me. Yeah. And uh, and top of that, get a goal. Yeah. And uh, you know, on your first game at Old Trafford, it's not doesn't happen every day. So mm. it happened that day, and I was that's them type of memory you're never going to forget about. You're no. just going to keep it in till the rest of your life. Yeah, you can understand. Uh, which player at Man United did the biggest impact on you when, at your time in Man United? For me, I think it's, uh, it's all the group. Because yeah. I, uh, when you come to a team and you see a group that like a family and they have somebody that they listen to. Like yeah. Ferguson, you know, it's, you know, you feel welcome. You know, everything is like Okay, I'm here to learn. I don't need to impress anybody, but I need to, I need to learn, you know, how because that was the first time I got into the Premier League yeah. and being playing in Norway is different league. So I needed to learn. I needed a way out to learn, and they giving me they make it easy for me, and I enjoy it. Yeah. What was it like to have Sir Alex Ferguson? You know, you heard about him before you signed for the club. You met him in real life. How was he as a person, and how was he was a ma like a manager? Oh, I think for me it's like uh, it's like them, you know. It's, it's unbelievable, crazy. It's yeah. unbelievable yeah. to just describe, you know, how how it is because uh, he's he's just a great manager. Because yeah. uh, in top of that, you just have to see 
on your private life, we will be yeah. asking you about, you know, how you're doing and yeah. all that stuff, you know, yeah. outside of the box of football, because sometimes people think we just like, uh, you know, and he's always thinking outside of it. So yeah. then that's what makes him great, because he allow you to enjoy football and yeah. give you that chance to enjoy it. So that's what make him a greatest manager ever in football yeah. for me. He's the godfather yeah. of all the managers. For me, yeah. yeah. Top. Okay. Thank you so much, my man. No nice problem. to meet you. Thank you no so problem, much. Boss. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Da håper jeg dere likte intervjuet mitt med Mann Biram. Eh, tusen takk for at dere så på. Igjen, trykk på den røde abonner-knappen. Det er selvfølgelig gratis. Så trykker dere på bjella, så vil dere få varsel når neste episode kommer. Vi snakkes!